Hey guys, what's up? It's Doug here again at Hybrid Fitness, and today we're gonna to teach you the three most common mistakes made when doing the barbell bent over row. Let's start out with the barbell bent over row, and real quick for, for good form, we're gonna push our hips back till our we have a, a, a really good, almost parallel angle with our back to the floor, our arms hanging straight down, and then now we're gonna pull this up to the belly button. Right, I'm gonna go back down the straight, Row up to the belly button. All right, now our first common mistake is using momentum for the lift. So instead of locking your, your back in a fixed position and bringing the barbell up to your belly button, you're gonna be moving your torso up and down. So starting out in that normal barbell bent over row, I'm rowing up bringing my torso up and popping up and using momentum like this. This is bad form. <laughs> now our second most common mistake made when doing the bent over barbell row is shortening the range of motion. We want to make sure that we get through, through the full range of motion and not shorten that up and stay in the middle range, right? We want to make sure that we go all the way from bottom to top, right? We don't wanna go all the way to bottom, stop it early like this. We don't wanna come all the way up to the top, stop it early like this. Full range of motion. Now for our final most common mistake we have knowing the purpose of the exercise. So why are you programming the bent over barbell row? Are you trying to hit the lats? Are you trying to hit the upper back? Do you want a little more bicep involved or not? Right? So just depending on where your hand is, how you're gripping the barbell and where you're pulling to, you're going to work different parts of your back. So with my, with my grip narrow like this, Keeping my elbows tight to my body, I'm going to be hitting my lats a little more. Right? If I bump this out and have my arms a little wider, and then I pull up higher on my stomach, I'm going to be hitting my upper back instead of my lats as much. Right? And then if I go underhand grip, and keep my elbows tight. Just like this, I'm hitting my lats more like the first initial one, but I'm also adding in more bicep work, right? So there's a quick tutorial of the three most common mistakes made doing the bent over barbell row. If you like the video or learn anything, don't forget to like, comment, and share or click the video right here for the next in the series. Bent over barbell row, throw it in your routine, and let me know what you think.